Hi guys, welcome po sa Hugot Sip na yan. This is Sir JV, your mga kahugot and welcome po sa ating channel. So, para po sa video natin for today guys, ang pag-uusapan natin is all about how to determine or identify whether a variable is independent or dependent. So, this will be part of the grade 8 second quarter guys. So, para malaman natin guys, at ano ba yung mga teknik para malaman to, let's have this topic. Ano ba yung objective natin? The objective of this video guys, video lesson, syempre, is to learn to identify what's independent and dependent variable. So, hindi lang guys ang mat din discuss yung independent at dependent variable. Kung naalala natin sa English, may independent at dependent clauses. Pagdating po sa science, na-discuss na rin po itong independent at dependent na ito guys. We're just trying to determine ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng independent at saka dependent variable especially when we're dealing with mathematics so let us try to recall muna guys so dependent and independent variables stand with the word function so may relation guys yung tinatawag natin independent at dependent variables sa word na function so tandaan natin guys ang relation ay any link or tie up or association of any uh, two people object ideas and etc so pag sinabi guys, function, special type siya ng relation. Kapag ang isang set, every element of the domain, or the first set, is map on exactly one element of the range. So, exactly one element lang guys. So, doon lumalabas guys yung function. So, one is to one na relation nila. Okay, o, i ibig sabihin guys, for every single x, single y lang po ang kanya maging partner. So, kaya nga nagkakabu tayo guys ng ordered pair na which is, we have a one... One variable for the x, so one value for the x, and another value for the y. Okay. So another thing, guys, all function are relation, but not all relation are said to be function. So some of some function or some relation are not function. Consider na yon, guys. So guys, sorted pair, guys. So we have an x and y. So, ang lahat ng set ng X or of the abscissa is what we call the domain. While all the set for the Y is what we call the range. Okay? Kung baga yung X guys ang domain ulit, ang Y ang range. Kapag pinag-usap natin guys ay function, so related na related po guys dito yung independent at dependent variable. Now, as we discuss agad guys about function, We will try to have yung function notation. Ano ba yung function notation na tinatawag? So, pag sinabi guys, function notation, kung ang isang notation guys, ang isang function ay equation guys, so we ha have an input and a output. Para bang sa, para sa isang factory, kapag may pinasok isang bagay sa isang machine, may nabubuo syempre, ba? Diba? So, same thing with this. Kung meron tayong guys na rules or equation na binigay natin, when you try to input x, syempre lalabas dyan lagi yung y. So, pero probably guys, kung isipin natin to guys, independent tsaka dependent variable, yung y ay nakadependent sa x. So, x is tend to be the independent variable. Samantalang guys, yung y ang tinatawag natin dependent variable. Pero guys, when we're trying to deal with problem solving, Paano ba natin malalaman kung independent siya o dependent variable? Yun yung tanong eh. Kung ano ba yung independent siya independent, uh, dependent. Okay? Let's try to define first. Ang variable guys natin can be dependent o independent. Kung baga sa tao, pag independent ka na, kaya mo nang mag-isa. Okay? Pag dependent ka pa, you are, you are dependent or nakadepend ka pa sa ibang bagay o sa ibang tao. So, in terms of variable, guys, pag sinabing dependent variable, depends on independent variable. So, matalo yung independent variable, control the dependent variable. Okay? Para itong sa ano, sa relasyon ng mga magulang at saka anak, yung anak ang tinatawag nating dependent sa magulang. Kasi, yung allowances, yung mga pangailangan ng anak, syempre, nakadepende sa magulang. Yung independent variable naman, guys, yung magulang mismo. Siya yung kumukontrol sa anak. Not really kumukontrol, but... 
siya yung nagbibigay ng mga kailangan ng kanyang anak o kanyang dependent. Okay? So, ibig sabihin guys, when we're trying to deal with phenomena, kunwari, kung mangyayari ang isang bagay, uh, ang sinasabi natin guys, dependent variable, yung ko-effect nito. Samantala yung independent, yung cause. O for example, nag, ang, ang pinag-example ko dyan, yung pag-aaral ng mga bata, di ba? Pag ikaw ay mahabang, mahaba yung oras ng pag-aaral mo, pag-review mo, mas tatas ang score mo. Ang independent variable guys, yung, yung, yung time ng pag-aaral mo. Ang dependent guys, yung score mo, possible sa exam, di ba? So guys, when we are trying to deal with dependent and independent variable, sabi ko nga sa inyo guys, If we're trying to rewrite them into y and x, ang x ang kinukonsider natin na independent, samantala ang yung y naman ang tatawag natin dependent. So, nakita nyo guys, so, sa ating function notation, kapag pinasa ko si x, lalabas syempre si y. Okay? So, ito guys yung mga example ng independent sa dependent variable. So, liquid use to water a plant o water using ano so sabihin guys yung independent so pag dami ng tubig possible in, in certain days so ito yung nakadepend sa kanya yung height ng plant nga naman pag naman nag, nag ano ka uh, niligan mo ang halaman possible na lumaki siya so yun yung tatawag na independent sa dependent so number of mingo for example ko kumakain ka di ba so independent natin yung number of mingo yung kilos of alamang needed syempre pagkakain ka may kapart na yung alamang yun ay di kung gano'ng kadami ang minggo mo gano'ng din kadami yung alamang na bibilhin mo for example isang kilo ang mangga mo tapos bibili ka ng bibili ka ng tatlong kilong alamang aba ay di ang alat nun di napakadami ng alamang mo so, wala ka naman mangga diba that's one thing to be considered guys so independent dependent So, another thing guys, here is cup of water needed. So, dependent variable and weight for the rice grain, dip, independent variable. So, example, sa nagsasaing, di ba? Pag nagsasaing ka guys, so, kung gaano kadami yung grains mo, di ba susukat natin ng daliri natin yun, dun yung possible na gaano kadami rin yung water. Alam ka naman, pag, pag kakaunti ang tubig mo, edi hilaw. Pag marami namang tubig, edi yun ay lugaw. Diba? So, it's example guys na nakadepende pag kinagsasaing sa dami nung o sa bigat nung rice mo sa dami nung rice mo rice green ibig sabihin yung bigas do sa cup of water na kailangan mo. Same thing guys kapag may sasakyan tayo. Diba? So, distant poverty is our dependent. So, nakadepende siya guys dun sa sa liters ng gasoline na meron ka. Siyempre, pag dami ng gasolina mo pag layo na mararating mo. Okay? So, same thing with pagbabay ka, diba? Sipin natin yung gasoline, yung energy ng isang tao. Sa pagdami ng energy mo, paglakas ng energy mo, sa paglayo ng mararating mo, syempre. So, that is guys, independent and dependent variable. So, I hope you learned something from this video guys, kung ano ba yung dependent and independent variable. And, you may try to recognize guys, sa sarili natin, kung ano ba yung independent at dependent variable. Okay? Kapag, Simple guys, napadali napa, nung itindihin. Pag in, you're independent guys, you're not uh, depending on other people's other, other people na decision. So, isabihin ikaw ay very independent. So, hindi ka na nakadepende guys. You're very matured. When you dependent, you're still depending on other people's that is dependent. Okay? So, dependent is the one being control and independence the one who is controlling the dependent okay and i hope you learned something from this video guys if you like this video can like this and share it with your student guys so i'm going to prefer a lot of video tricks guys so mathematics video mathematics tricks guys so pag usap ng math para mas maging updated kayo sa mga video natin so ito po guys thank you god bless see you in the next video so don't forget to like follow and subscribe to my channel guys Hugot sip na yan and behind your life TV. So, it's, this is my personal, mm, personal Facebook account and my page, guys. Uh, here's my Instagram and syempre yung ating YouTube account. So, God bless po, ingat, and see you on the next video, guys. God bless.
Guys, para po dun sa mga video request po ninyo, you may send the request sa aking pong social media account. Sa Facebook ko po, the search for Hugot Sip na yan. And you could also try to comment guys yung mga topic na gusto nyo below this video. So, malaking tulong po sa atin na syempre alam natin yung mga appropriate na video para sa ating mga estudyante. So, God bless po. Ingat.